Hello, hello, hello. Today is April something, I forgot what something is, 2022. For you it may be something plus one, depending upon where you live. We have a cylindrical vessel filled with liquid with mass density rho. We push in this liquid a sphere which prefers to go upwards. Its volume is capital V and its mass is M. But I hold it down with a rod so that it cannot float upwards to the surface and that rod has a negligible mass, negligible mass and a negligible volume. Not zero, but negligible. <laughs> so you can ignore it, it's negligible. The first question is, how much of the liquid flows out of the vessel? The mass of that liquid. Well, the volume is capital V and the density is rho, so the mass of the liquid that flows out is capital V rho. Now, before we put in the sphere, the scale on which it's standing indicates a weight of W. And the question now is, what will that weight be when we hold that sphere down into the liquid with the rod? Well, there is the weight that we had originally, but now there is a loss of liquid. And the loss of liquid has a force, equal force, M, capital M times G. But there is also a buoyant force upwards. And that buoyant force upward, according to Archimedes' principle, is equivalent to the weight of the displaced liquid. And the weight of the displaced liquid is mg. That force on the sphere is upwards. Therefore, the ball will act a force on the liquid in the opposite direction. The liquid acts on the ball with a buoyant force in this direction, and as a result, the ball pushes back on the liquid with the same force, but in the opposite direction. And since the buoyant force is mg, therefore, the force that this object exerts on the scale is now also mg, and w plus mg minus mg is again w. So quite amazing, not so obvious, that when you put the ball in, water runs out, that the weight of the scale remains unchanged, W. Now we make it a little bit more complicated. We now attach a rope, negligible mass, negligible volume, and here is the sphere, and we attach the rope to the bottom. Since the ball wants to start to float, we stated that already in the beginning, the ball wants to go up, and then it will stop, and there is a certain tension then in this string. And the question now is, what is that tension? Well, the 
buoyant force on this sphere is mg upwards. We discussed that already here. But the weight of the ball itself is little mg, because m is the mass of the ball. And so the tension in this rope then must be capital mg minus small mg. Now, what is the weight that the scale indicates? So, if we go back to the situation that the ball was held in the liquid and liquid had spilled out and then there was the buoyant force upwards and so the ball was pushing down on the liquid with the same force but in opposite direction then the weight was W. Now the only difference is that there is this tension in here. The tension pulls down on this object, but it pulls up on the rope. And so that tension was mg minus and little mg, and so the weight that you will see now is W minus the tension. So it's a huge problem. You have to understand Archimedes' principle about 20% of you have all the questions correct. Many of you already fail the answer of question 2, question B. Archimedes' principle is not always intuitive, isn't it? Well, have a nice day. Oh, I remember it is Sunday. I don't know what day, but it is Sunday today. So maybe it's already Monday for you, depending upon where you live. We'll be friends. That's always the strongest conservation law in physics. Whether you can do the problem or whether you can't. That's always an absolute given.